Hi everyone, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Andy, and I'm really happy to have you. Uh, we're gonna change, switch gears a little bit today. One of the things that I said I was going to do to my channel a few months ago, um, I kind of merged another channel that I had with this channel. And instead of just a makeup channel, it became kind of a lifestyle channel. Well, really, the only thing I've been doing is makeup, makeup and hauls and things like that. But I was kind of looking through my computer the other day, and I still have some videos with some of my recipes. So I'm going to show you my recipe for keto slash uh, low carb chocolate pudding. It is so good, guys. It is so good. It is very thick. It is very rich. Just be warned, it is very rich. But it is only three and a half, 3.5 net carbs per serving. Totally, completely sugar free. Um, I do use monk fruit sweetener, which is a sweetener substitute that is 100% natural and 100% keto friendly. So I'm gonna do a little bit of editing magic and edit this intro onto that, uh, on, onto that video and take the old intro off because it has the name of my other channel on it. So, and then we'll come back. So stay tuned for my amazing, amazing, delicious, um, sugar-free keto, low-carb chocolate pudding. Okay guys, so this is what you're going to need for the pudding. You're going to need a cup and a half of the heavy whipping cream, three egg yolks, three tablespoons of monk fruit sweetener. You can also use erythritol. Um, I used to get the granulated because you're going to be cooking it with the heavy cream, so it's going to have time to dissolve. And then finally, you're gonna need one and a half of these. Um, this is the lint, it is 95% cocoa. If you don't really like the dark, dark chocolate, I'm gonna see if this will, okay, yeah. So you can see the nutritional information there. Um, it's only three net carbs per serving and only one sugar. Um, a serving is four pieces. So when you break it down with the um, ingredients, this is about three and a half net carbs per serving. Servings, like I said, are very small because it's so rich. Um, you can use like a 90% or an 85%. Uh, the Ghirardelli are just as good. However, they do not make a 95%. The, their highest other than 100%, which is basically baking chocolate, is 92%. Um, I try to keep it as low carb as possible and I really like the dark chocolate. So that's it that's your ingredients oh and vanilla you're gonna need vanilla here's my vanilla here's my vanilla i make my own vanilla because i'm bougie so um yeah stay tuned and we're gonna get this cooking okay so in my saucepan i'm going to add my cup and a half of heavy cream um you're gonna cook that about a medium and then I'm going to add my three tablespoons of granulated monk fruit sweetener. I like the Lakanto. Um, like I said, you can use erythritol if you want. I like the I like the monk fruit. I think it's amazing. So you're just going to stir that really well until it's all incorporated, and then it's going to heat. You're going to stir occasionally. Um, you'll know when it's about done when there's bubbles on the outside and it's steaming. So as soon as that happens, we'll be back and I'll tell you what else to do. Okay guys, we are still stirring. It is getting warm. This is not a sprint. It's a marathon. It takes a little bit of a time. Uh, once you make it a few times, uh, it, it seems like it gets faster. The first couple times you make it, it seems very tedious, but uh, it's stuff that needs to happen. This needs to heat, and um, you know it takes a little bit of time for it to come out right. So once this gets to where it needs to be, 
I will show you what it looks like and we're going to incorporate the egg yolks. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay. See how it's steaming and there's like bubbles around the edges? That means it's just about done. So now what we're going to do is we're going to incorporate our egg yolks and you want to do that very slowly because if you just dump this into the egg yolks, they're going to get scrambled eggs. You're going to make sure that your egg yolks are beat really well. I'm just going to get them a little bit, a little bit more of a, of a stir. Okay, and you're going to do this a little teeny bit at a time, and you're going to whip really well and clean. Like I said, if you add too much of the hot liquid to the eggs, they're going to scramble. And we don't want that. We just want creamy goodness. We are almost done with this part. Okay. Right back over there. Give it a final whisk for that. And then we're gonna add about a teaspoon of vanilla. I usually just eyeball it. Um, one thing, if you have never had homemade vanilla, you are missing out. Uh, my mother-in-law actually gave me a little bottle of it one time, and I have never had regular vanilla since. Okay, this is going to go back in the pan, and you're going to stir it constantly. You don't want to stop stirring it because then it might uh, burn on the bottom. It may separate. You just want to make sure. I usually turn it down just a little bit. Um, I have an electric stove. Uh, I would rather, rather have a gas stove, but I have an electric stove, and... Um, it takes a minute to cool down, so we'll be right back. So you're going to stir this constantly. I like using these silicone spatulas. I feel like it gets, uh, it scrapes the sides really well and it scrapes the bottom really well. Um, your end result here, you are making your custard, is what you're doing. So it's going to get a little thicker in about five to seven minutes. It's going to thicken up. Um, you're, again, you're going to have the, the steaming and the, bubbles on the side, but it's going to thicken up and you want to coat the back of a spoon. It's basically, that's basically the thickness that you want it. Um, you'll notice, you'll notice that it's going to get a little thicker. Um, you want to keep this at about medium low. You don't want it too high because then your cream will break and then you'll have a big mess. It will not incorporate to your chocolate well enough. So just be very mindful, continue stirring and we'll see you back in about five minutes. So it's gotten thicker, quite a bit thicker, um, and then you're going to pour it over your chocolate. Here's your chocolate, just break it up into little pieces, and then you're going to pour, I'm left-handed, so that's why everything's backwards in my kitchen. You're gonna pour your cream mixture, your custard, over your chocolate, and that's gonna melt. And then you're going to whisk it. You're going to make sure all of the chocolate has been melted. And it's going to get thick. As you're whisking it, it's going to get thick. It starts off really watery. And you might panic just a minute, but don't panic. Because it see how it's thickened up? So all of the chocolate has been melted. And then you're going to take your spatula, see that cream? You're going to make sure that those ribbons of cream, I don't know if you can see it, you want to make sure it's totally incorporated. Otherwise, your pudding is going to be separated. And basically what you're going to have on top is butter. And the rest is going to be chocolate. And it looks a little weird. It tastes amazing. It still tastes good. But it's not the prettiest thing in the world. So there's my chocolate. And now I'm going to pour it into my little glass jars. 
Um, I have these little glass jars that I bought at Walmart and they have a lid with them and I really like them because when you put the lid on them, you're going to put the lid on them when they're still hot so they seal and they will last longer. Not that they last a long time in my fridge anyway because we pretty much eat them. Uh, pretty well, within a couple days actually. They got, they got three of us here that are on keto and this makes six servings. It makes six or seven of these depending on how full you make them. Um, I also, you could also use a ramekin and cover it with plastic wrap. As soon as you're done, even when it's hot, you want to cover it with plastic wrap and put it directly into the fridge. So I'm going to pour these into my cups and we'll be back. There they are. There's my little jars of chocolate pudding. Aren't they cute? They're just little guys. There's my jars of chocolate pudding. There's actually one more jar over here and then I have one of my ramekins because um, I had 12 jars and I took some to uh, get together and I left them there. So until I get them back, I only have five jars and then I use um, a ramekin. So, and that's not very pretty. So I'm just gonna keep it right here. So when you serve these guys, um, after about, it, they have to be in the refrigerator for at least an hour. I like mine at about three hours. I think that um, I like the firmness of the pudding, but if you want more of a creamy pudding consistency, an hour will do it. Um, I usually put some whipped cream on top. Sometimes we put some natural peanut butter on top, just a little bit to coat the top and then whipped cream. That's pretty amazing. So yeah, that's my chocolate pudding. So there it is. There's my chocolate pudding. So let me know down in the comments if you make this this chocolate pudding and if you like it, if you love it, let me know. I would really like to know. Also, if you want to see more keto recipe videos from me, then please consider hitting that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate the support to my channel and it would kind of let me know what people actually want to see and tell me in the comments. Tell me in the comments if this is something that you want to see because I sure the heck would love to make more videos for, for you. Um, one of the reasons why I'm not refilming the video is because I already have the video, so why not? Also, my kitchen is really, really terrible for filming. The way it's set up, it's just not very conducive for filming. So, um, that's why I'm kind of re-releasing some old video that I have. So everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. I really appreciate it if you'd give me a thumbs up. Also, go follow me over to Instagram. It's Andy underscore does underscore stuff. If you're really, really interested in the keto way of living or the low carb way of living, you can also follow me on my Instagram, Andy's underscore keto underscore journey. Andy's keto journey. That's me. So everyone have a great afternoon, great day, and we'll see you later.